Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jody, and on my channel I talk about Broadway and books. And in today's video, I will be continuing my Broadway show series where I talk about every Broadway show I ever got to see. So normally in the series on my channel, I go over a few things, such as who was in the cast of my performance, who was on the creative team, how I like the show, and anything interesting I may find in the playbill. So without any further ado, let's get on to today's show. So today I'll be talking about the 39th Broadway show I ever got to see, which was the Broadway musical, The Boy From Oz. So I saw this show in November, 2003 at the Imperial Theater. And in case you didn't know, the new Broadway musical, Water for Elephants is currently playing at this theater. And in case you didn't know this, Water for Elephants is actually a stage adaptation of the book by the same name. So in case you didn't know all that, now you do. And before I get on to what's in the playbill, um, I actually have a t-shirt from the show, The Boy From Oz. You can't see the whole thing and I don't feel like standing up, but um, yeah, I had this t-shirt in my closet for many years, forgot I had it. And then once I found it, I was like, oh, this is perfect to wear for when I talk about the show. So um, yeah, now I'll get on into what is in the playbill. <laughs> So here's a page with um, the headshots of the lead and supporting performers who are in the show. And then the page with the chorus standbys and understudies. So this is usually the part of the video where I go over any performers names who I may recognize from having seen them in shows before or after I saw them in The Boy From Oz. So, Let's get to that now. So, um, yeah, if you're familiar with this show, you already know this, but in case you're not, this was the show that marked Hugh Jackman's Broadway debut. Um, he was very much a star before he did the show, as he did several films before he was in the show. Um, but this was the show that really made him like a Broadway star, and it. I just feel so lucky to have gone to have seen him in this show. Um, cause it was just such a performance and I'll get more on into his performance when I talk about how I like the show. Um, Stephanie J. Block was also, was also in the show. I believe this was her Broadway debut and if it wasn't, it was at least the first show I ever saw her in, but she was just really fantastic in the show. She played Liza Minnelli and she's another one of those performers who every time you see her in a show, you know, she's just going to give like everything she has to her performance and she's just such an incredible performer and, um, I just just another great Broadway talent. I've seen her in so many shows, such as Falsettos, The Mystery of Edwin Druge. I didn't get to see her in The Share Show, which is unfortunate because that was the show that she won a Tony Award for. But And I also saw her in one of my least favorite Broadway shows ever, The Pirate Queen, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, Beth Flower was in the show. Isabel Keenan was in the show. She played Judy Garland. Jared Emick, Michael Mulloran, who I saw in Kiss Me Kate. Um, who else? Let's see. Um, John Hill was in the show. I saw him in Hairspray. Heather Laws was in the show. Saw her in Cabaret. Brian J. Markham. He was in Saturday Night Fever on Broadway, one of my favorite Broadway musicals of all time. And Matthew Stock was in the show, who went on to be in one of my favorite Broadway shows ever, The Wedding Singer, which was a stage adaptation of the film. One of the best shows I've ever seen on the Broadway stage. So now I'll get on to, to the creative team, point out any names I may recognize from having seen the work on other shows before or after The Boy From Oz. So I'll do that now. Robin Wagner did the scenic design, and they also did the scenic design for one of my favorite Broadway shows of all time as well, uh, Saturday Night Fever, the musical. They also did Kiss Me Kate, the revival in the early, late 90s, early 2000s. Well, yeah, it was a 1999 revival, I, I believe, um, as well as the producers, I believe. And those are the only names I recognize. So now I'll get on to how did I like the show? Um, I, I really, 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 really liked The Boy From Oz. It was such an incredible show. It was about the, li uh, the life and career of Peter Allen. And um, this show was really good. I really liked it. I really enjoyed myself at this show. And what made this show really stand out as a show that I remember after all this time was because of Hugh Jackman's performance. He played the lead role of Peter Allen and this was his Broadway debut and he just gave such an incredible performance as Peter Allen in this musical. He he just gave the show everything he had 110% and you could see that all on stage. It's even after all these years, I might, you know, not remember the whole show entirely other than the premise of what the show is about, but I remember Hugh Jackman's performance. It 
you just, you know, it's just one of those performances you don't forget. And many times when I've seen a Broadway show, you know, I'm seeing, you know, a performance, performances live on stage, and you see a performer just giving one of the best performances you've ever seen, and you're thinking to yourself, this performer's definitely going to win a Tony Award, and this was one of those times when you were watching his performance on stage, and you're like, he's going to win a Tony Award for this his part in the show and sure enough he did and you know it just this is one of those shows you just kind of can't talk about the show and not talk about his performance because his performance was very much the show and I just feel so lucky to have gone to see him in the show to see this show because the show only lasted about a year including previews on Broadway and that's because once Hugh Jackman's contract was up the show closed there was talks for a brief period of time that they that the show was going to maybe go on and a new performer would take his place, but that really never materialized. And, um, you know, a lot of times when a performer, a performance is so associated with the show, um, it's hard to get new audiences to see some someone else in that part when, you know, that performer that previously played the part was just so well known for that performance, if that makes sense. But I think that's kind of what happened with this show. Um, so I feel really lucky to have gotten to have seen it. And it was just an incredible show. Um, you know, the performances were wonderful, the dance numbers were wonderful, the songs were wonderful, the costumes were wonderful. I just really, this was one of those shows where I'm like, I just felt really lucky to have gotten to have seen. And it's just one of those shows that I think fondly of all these years later. So now I'll talk about some of the musical numbers that maybe I liked in the show. Um, oh, I almost forgot. I feel so silly. Um, the... The music and lyrics were done by Peter Allen. It says Peter Allen and others, but um, Peter Allen wrote a lot of amazing songs, so I am I forgot to mention that by accident, but there you go. Okay, um, so I have to see when it comes to the score, there are some numbers that I remember and there's others that I do forget. Um, although, like, we look, you know, looking in the play ball again, I'm reminded of some of these songs, so if that makes sense. Um, so... I'll get to some of the ones I remember. Um, it's I don't remember a lot, unfortunately. There's one that I I ra I really remember without having to look at my playbill. Well, I'll get to that last, I guess. Um, let's see. I guess I don't remember as many songs as I thought. I go to Rio. Um, uh, kind of remember that when I look in the playbill. But the one song that I like I first I don't remember any of the songs apparently besides that one um I would ha I have to listen re-listen to the score I guess um but they're great songs I remember they were great songs I just you know after so much time you forget sometimes um what can I say um the um not the boy next door is the song that I didn't have to look in the playbook to remember um it was just like such a showstopper number it was performed by Hugh Jackman um like I said, he played Peter Allen, and um, this was the uh, the last number before intermission, before Act Two. So it was the closing number of Act One, and uh, it was just it, I just love the lyrics. I love his performance in that song, and it's just a song that like even though I don't remember any of the other songs, I remember this song because it's just like I just loved it. What can I say? Um, uh, you know, it was just a great number. My favorite number in the show is clearly the one number I for sure remember. Um, now I'll get on into what is in the playbill. So, like I said, saw this. Um, hmm, this is really interesting. Um, I saw this show. I forget what the date was, but it was November 2003. But the playbill is actually listed as November 30th, 2003, which I've never seen that in the playbill before. Maybe it was new at the time, listing the date. Maybe I saw it that weekend. I can't remember now. Um, there's a thing in here about uh, Joel Gray and all the Broadway shows he had done over the years. And I actually did not know that he was in he was in the original cast of the Broadway revival, the current Broadway revival of Chicago. He was the first um, Amos Hart in that revival. I did not know that. This that. Uh, yeah, just uh, some of the other some of the shows he had done over the years and then advertisement for angels in america wow i that was such a great mini series on hbo um 
so many Broadway performers were in that show. Um, just absolutely fantastic. And then here's a show um, I have briefly mentioned in a few videos, The Violet Hour. Um, this show opened up at the Biltmore Theater. It was the first show to reopen that theater, which is now known as the Samuel J. Freeman Theater. It was a show I really wanted to see, but I never got to see. But here's a whole article in the show as it was on Broadway at that time. I think it had just opened probably. Yeah. Yeah, that there's Richard Greenberg. He also wrote, uh, there's a picture for Take Me Out. He wrote that music, uh, play as well. Um, this is, this label has a lot of stuff in it. I'm probably going to show every page. Uh, Taboo was on Broadway at this po moment in time, a show I really wanted to see, but it had such a short run. I missed out on that. Um, let's see. Anything else? Hmm. Oh, this is a uh, advertisement for the CD for the boy from Oz. <laughs> and then there's a little thing in here about uh, other shows that played at the Imperial Theater over time. And then I think, oh, there's a little thing in here for Little Shop of Horrors about for the cast album, but. I love Little Shop of Horrors. I love that Broadway revival. It's actually currently playing in New York off Broadway at the Westside Theater in case you never got the show and always wanted to see it. And it has a really great cast right now. James Carpinello is playing the dentist. Um, he was from Saturday Night Fever, one of my favorite show, Broadway shows. Um, Jinx Massoon is playing Audrey. And I would absolutely love to see the show with that cast, but you know what? <laughs> I'm not sure. If I'll, I'll make it to it, but you know, maybe one day. Um, and then I'll now get on to the next Broadway show I'll be talking about in the series, as it is my 40th Broadway show. I made it to number 40 of, of this series. Pretty cool. Um, that would be my when I saw Wicked for the first time in December 2003. Right there. So if you made it to this point of the video, thank you so very much for watching. Um, I took a bit of took a bit of a, um, a, um, a break, so I'm kind of like a little bit rusty at this. Um, making this series because I haven't done it in a while but you know I had a lot of fun talking about a really great show The Boy From Oz and yeah this was my 39th Broadway show moment in time so it, like I said if you made it to this point in the video thank you so very much for watching and be sure to stay tuned for my next video in the series where I talk about, talk about my very first time seeing the Broadway musical Wicked so as always thank you so much thank you so very much for watching and until next time bye